Cody, what do you think about being back at? Yeah, um, you know I like it. Uh, I was notified a little bit uh, earlier on in the in the off season, so it was nice to know and uh, was able to get a little bit more comfortable with it, and I feel good now. So I'm I'm excited about it. Is that hard though, just because of the success that you've had as a guard and how they want to throw you back inside? No, I mean I've kind of done this my whole career. Like it started when I was at K State. Um, you know, they moved me all around. I was playing tackle. I was playing guard. Um, you know, this, this, and this. So, um, you know, I'm used to it. And, uh, you know, I've always been a team first guy wherever I can help the team. Um, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Draw upon from your, your previous experience and success at center helps you just kind of get back and Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like riding a bike. Um, I know there at first I was having some issues as far as consistency of the snap. Um, you know, but I, I feel like I'm past that. I feel like I'm in a good spot. And, uh, you know, I just think the experience there before has helped me um, do what I'm doing today. Yeah, you know, a good player, um, athletic player, big, big, strong guy, um, very well in run and pass. Um, you know, like I said, he's a big guy. He can anchor on a bull and get movement at the point of attack. So, uh, you know, that's what we want, and, uh, you know, he's doing a nice job right now. You've been through a lot of this building, a lot of different coaches, a lot of regimes. What are your feelings, kind of the direction of this thing now, you kind of look toward the future? Yeah, um, you, there's a different feel this year. Um, you know, everybody's really hungry this year. Um, you know, guys came in and, you know, looked great, um, working hard. Um, you know, so uh, we like where we're at, um, and obviously we're going to continue to get better. Um, but uh, it's nice that we have most of our team here, um, you know, through this voluntary phase to to get things rolling on the right foot. As a veteran, having been around, it, do you, are you watching during the offseason, paying attention to what's happening, who you're adding? Are you somebody who's talking with and text with Ryan and, like, as things go on? Or how do you kind of approach this all? I mean, you definitely hear, like, through the news or social media or whatever, who we sign. Um you know, the picks we get, whatever like that. So, uh, you know, I've always been the type of guy to, to reach out and welcome them to the team, um, you know, and get that relationship started off on the right foot. How difficult was it for you to be patient last year knowing that last season was going to be a year where they turned on the roster and they look toward building in the future? Yeah, I mean, that's that's within a year. Um, you know, I, I am getting older um, too. So, uh, you know, I'm very, I'm very fortunate to still be here. Um, you know, I, lo I love what's going on here, and, uh, you know, we're going to get this thing turned around. So I'm, I'm looking forward to being a part of that. When you say it feels different this year, is that part of what it is? Like, you know, this isn't a teardown year. This is a year where they are trying to build up to something. Absolutely. Um, you know, we, we got a lot of good players in here, um, you know, and we're really excited where we're at and where we're going to go. Tell me what specifically has been different about Justin and how he was going to be in this offense and his command and his process. Yeah, I just think his – him being more comfortable, um, you know, from certain reads, certain, um, you know, passes that he's seen before, certain coverages, um, you know, it all ties together. And he's, he's doing really well right now. Um, you know, he's, he's very demanding in the huddle. Um, and his leadership is just taking the next step as well. So, uh, you know, really excited to see him this year. Was there a point in the offseason, like before the new league year and contract triggers kick in, was there a point that you thought you might not be in Chicago? Um, I mean... It always crosses your mind. Um, you know, I, this this will be my eighth year here, and, uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in, in, in wearing the C and the bear on my chest. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm very glad I'm back um, and uh, look forward to this year. Cody when, Cody, when you say it's a better feeling this year, is that just the normal optimism you feel at this time of year, or is, it, is this year with the staff just a bit above and beyond that? I mean, there's always that optimism in this time of year, but you, you just feel it at the next level, I guess, if you will. Um, you know, guys are really eager to get back. Guys are eager to work for each other. Um, and I think, you know, we got the right pieces um, this year to really to really make a run. Last year at this time, we, we did not know, really have a good idea what the configuration of the offensive line was going to be. Surprise with Rex How much does it mean to seemingly have that figured, rough draft, but it's better than the beginning of last year? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, there is great competition on our line, though, as well. Um, you know, guys guys are really working hard and pushing each other. Um, you know, so we're, we're excited where we're at. And I think, you know, getting together now and, and you know, having those guys in there, 
um, you know, only helps us later down the road with our combination fits, our communication, you know, all the continuity stuff that it, that it takes to be a good line. So, uh, you know, it's really cool to, to be working that right now. Well, you talked about time communication and welcoming in, welcoming in the new guys. What's that process been like with Nate Davis and how he got you to get him on your side? So you got to begin to build that chemistry. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Nate's an older guy. He, he knows what he's doing. Um, you know, we're excited to get Nate in. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a good player, so he's going to help us out for sure. When he does get on the field, what is the challenge to kind of accelerating that chemistry fit and that, and that connection? Yeah, I mean, I think he'll be fine. He's a veteran guy. Uh, you know, he's played in this system a long time, being, you know, coming from Tennessee. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the stuff is the same. Um, you know, just seeing where he is in combinations and where I am. But, uh, you know, I don't think it'll be a very hard transition. It'll be pretty smooth, I think. <laughs> Excuse me, in pads, but across the line from you and Dexter, what has stood out so far about those guys? Yeah, they're, they're athletic guys, um, you know, strong, stout guys. Um, you know, they're, they're really athletic. They move very well laterally, um, you know, so I, th I think, uh, you know, they're going to have a good year too. Um, really excited about them. Cody, Pol Polson gets you a place an exceptional amount of faith in Chris Morgan to really put this thing together. Now, you played for a lot of offensive line coaches, mm -hmm. and without disparaging the previous guys, is there something about Chris that just makes him really good or better at, at his job, at the job that he has to do? Yeah, Simo's great. Um, you know, he, he's – I. I think what's really cool about Simo is he's the same guy every day. Um, you know, very upbeat, very positive. Um, you know, guys enjoy coming to work for him. Um, you know, and I think that's what makes it fun. It's a, it's a partnership. Um, you know, we're all at the same level trying to achieve that ultimate goal of the Super Bowl. So, uh, you know, he's done a great job, and we we like him a lot. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, the, the versatility part is huge, um, you know, as an O-lineman. Obviously, suiting up seven or eight guys on game day. Um, you know, we all know injuries happen, certain things happen. So, uh, you know, being able to adapt and, and play different sides is, is only going to help you later in your career. But, uh, you know, so far he's done a great job um, and uh, look forward to, to playing with him this year as well. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. How y'all doing? How are you? Really good. Uh, you know, I was happy for him, you know, just being able to get paid, uh, get his money. You know, obviously as a brother, I miss him, but, uh, you know, we'll get to see him twice a year, so that would be good. Well, what's been the agenda for you in the offseason as far as physically things you want to work on, bigger, whatever? Um, really, you know, working on all my weaknesses, um, you know, working on getting healthy, uh, more flexible, um, stronger in the core. So. I was really working on all those things throughout the whole off season, and still am now. So, are you coming back to your size, or you know? um, I put on about five pounds, but kind of run it off, kind of stay right between two fifteen, two twenty. So, how are you approaching this running back competition? You guys got a pretty crowded room right now. Are you approaching this? I'm the lead back. And they got to come get me, or we're all just in an equal competition. I just approaching it as comp. You know, every day, um, you know, got to compete. Got to compete, and I come in with the mindset. You know, obviously, um, I want to be the starter. So, just coming in with the mindset of leading and doing what, what I got to do, and uh, you know, doing what I do every day that I've been doing, and you know, I feel like things will work out. So, what do you think about the rookie? Oh, he's been he's been good. Um, just the things he's picking up things fast. Um, you know, seeing him in drills, good feet, good hands. So I'm excited to see what he can do. They go out and bring in two guys. Then they draft Roshan. Were you a little surprised when they then also drafted a back? Or um, what's kind of your reaction? <laughs> Not really. Uh, just, you know, how things going in the NFL now, they're doing things running back by committee. So um, you need you need one, two, three really good guys uh, that can really carry the rock, and, you know, there's going to be no drop-off. So, um, you know, I feel like as a group, we got a really strong group. Um, we got guys that could take it to the house at any given moment. So I'm excited to see what we do. David, David said recently in Detroit to media there that um, losing sucked the fun out of football. Um, did, did you sense that he experienced that late last year? Did other guys in the locker room feel that? I mean, it, it... 
I mean, losing sucks. Um, you know, not that I know that uh, other guys experienced it, but, you know, losing sucks at the end of the day. Um, you know, I know nobody was too happy to lose last year, um, and that's one thing, you know, I feel like we're trying to change and change this year, so. In light of that, would you say the vibe is different for you? I mean, is there a different energy around this group? Definitely. I mean, we got a great group of guys, um, but just everybody coming in with that with that mindset of uh, getting better every day and, you know, having fun. And you could see it out there on the field. You could feel it through the building. Um, we, we do these skull sessions where everybody's getting to know each other. And, and it makes a difference, I feel like, you know, especially on the field, um, in the locker room, you can just see how everybody gets well together. Offense, defense, special teams, it doesn't matter. So. A skull session? Yeah, that's what we call it. But it's just... Um, you know, everybody, offense, defense, intertwined, coaches uh, that, you, that you're not usually with. Um, and everybody gets together. Um, we just talk and get to know everybody and get to know one another. So. Now that you're positioned to be the guy to be that lead back, what do you want to prove? Um, I mean, I don't got nothing to prove. Um, I just go out there and, and, go my, and do my job. Um, you know, I, I, I like to prove myself right, really. That's about it. But... Um, I just go out there, do my job, do what I got to do. The rest will take care of itself. So. How, how critical is uh, pass protection, do you think, in winning the job? And since it looks like it may be a close competition, and where yeah. do you stand on that, and, and, and especially compared to the other guys? Yeah, I mean, that's you got to be all down, every down back. So that's a big that's a big part of it. Um, and it's something I worked on throughout this off season. And um, you know, I don't I don't know what in compared to the other guys, but it's something that I I'm, I've been working on to fix. So. How do you work? How do you work on that? Um, Punching, punching bags, boxing. I did boxing this off season just to work on my punch timing, uh, different things like that. You know, everybody's different, but that's what I, I try to working on to help me. Did Justin, did Justin say last week that you guys worked or that he threw to you in Florida? Yeah, yeah, he was back home with me, so we got together, uh, ran some rounds, did some things. So what's that like to do that off campus, kind of when everybody's going more relaxed? Um, I mean, it's good, you know, seeing your teammates in the off season. It's always good, so. Um, being back home with me, it was nice to just get them out there. Um, and, you know, we went to hang out and play, so it was good. Went to go eat. You know, threw the ball around, went to go eat. It was, it was good. So showed them around South Florida. With the, with the excitement that you and some of your other teammates have talked about with this group, you know, which is pretty normal this time of year, but how much of that is fueled by what Justin's doing, what he's showing you guys, what, what – you might be seeing from him out on the practice field, things like that. Yeah, I mean, obviously after last year, just, just the excellence and the plays he made um, and, you know, the command he had of the offense, this year it's kind of, you know, we got a, we added a bunch of different playmakers and, you know, we all kind of want to do the same thing he does so he doesn't have to do it all. Um, so just having that element that you got this explosive quarterback that can make a play, uh, you know, anytime he has a ball in the hands and want to be able to there be there, uh, to do the same thing, help him out. Um, and, you know, I feel like we got the guys for it, and, you know, so I'm excited. Is DJ a lead by example guy on this offense? <laughs> Why you ask that? Quiet? Yeah, like a quiet, like, it, the um, in Carolina was that, you know, he had dealt with so many different quarterbacks and had been there and was still the alpha all those years, and that he wasn't, he didn't need to necessarily be the rah rah vocal guy. He could show, hey, I'm really talented, and other guys would follow suit with that. Um, I mean, Shoot, what has it been, like four weeks? So I don't really know too much, but uh, just from being out there, you know, he's a playmaker, um, and that's what he does. He made some plays today, um, and I feel like that's kind of how, um, you know, he likes to show how he ends his business, get the ball in his hands and do what he does. So, um, you know, as we continue, I guess I'll be able to answer that, but for right now, I just he likes to make plays on the field. So. Have you got to see kind of his speed in action? Yeah, yeah. Very deceptive. Like he doesn't look like it's kind of effortless how he runs. Um, he just he's he's covering ground and he's covering it fast. So, Lots of new additions offensively, wide receiver, tight end in your room. How do you see Justin kind of like pulling that all together to make sure everybody's kind of expediting that process of getting on the same page? How do you see that on the field, on the in the locker room, or maybe in film study? Um, yeah, I feel like it started from before we even got on the field, just in meetings. Um, going through things, explaining it, everything in detail to everybody, uh, breaking down the little things whenever you got questions, uh, being able to answer those things. But just, you know, being in year two, he, he, he seems so much more comfortable and, you know, knows the whole offense. So just being able to really break down, you know, why I want you at this depth at, at this time and, you know, I'm going to be on this track for this handoff and different things like that that he's able to explain to guys and uh, be very detailed about now. So.
Thanks, guys. Thanks, Anybody else? Yeah. Sorry, one more follow-up. When you talk about like you and other guys taking emphasis on not having Justin have to do everything, the way you put it, um, like did he? In what ways did he win you over our last season? In the ways that he was having those moments where he was putting the team on his back, but also the hits he took, the toughness that he showed. I mean, was that something that kind of was earned throughout the season? I mean, yeah, you see it. Just obviously the hits he takes, the, the you know, I always think about the play against Detroit when uh, at the goal line and then he ran Buddy over. But uh, just just the things he does, you know, he every time he gets up, he does push-ups after he gets hit. Just, um, you know, you just want, you love playing with a guy like that that's going to put us all out there and, and uh, you know, put his body on the line to, to get the job done and do whatever it takes. So, uh, just seeing that, you know, guys gravitate towards that. Guys want to be around that. Guys want to help him out um, and do what they got to do to help him succeed. And, uh, you know, I feel like that's what everybody's trying to do. First year, second year, do you feel – how much more comfortable do you feel doing everything, whether it's on the field, in the system, or even off the field? Yeah, I, I do feel, like, extremely comfortable. I feel like I know my place, uh, where I'm supposed to be and stuff like that. So definitely coming back the second year, like, I definitely don't have any of the, like, where am I uh, – like I did the first year, I just I feel like I know where I'm at, what's going on, and uh, where I fit. Where do you fit? Uh, I mean, I've mainly been playing nickel, but I, I'm just talking about like comfortability, like alignment, uh, where I'm supposed to be, what I'm supposed to see, stuff like that. Like that's just already in the process. Like I'm not thinking at all. Uh, it's not a lot at all. So yeah. You like that more having one position to sort of focus on? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I do miss corner. I, I love corner, um, but yeah, it definitely is nice to just focus on nickel and. Uh, you know, taking as much as I can there and uh, perfect that, that spot. Has it helped you to have time in the offseason where it's not that pace of getting ready for the next game? You have all the time you need the last few months to rewatch games, rewatch plays, yeah. figure out what happened. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you asking specifically? How much that has helped you kind of, you talked last year, for example, about kind of forming a database in your mind of certain players or certain situations that you see. Mm -hmm. And you probably only have like, Maybe one day during a game week where you can, yeah, back, where you need to get ready for the next opponent. Right. Having had now like four months since the end of the season, does the does the slower pace has that given you more of an opportunity to look back in detail and absorb some of what you went through last season? Yeah, hundred percent. So like on the off season, uh, one of the first things I did while like getting my body right uh, was just going through the season, uh, all the games we played, all the bad plays, uh, good plays, and just stuff to work on, and so. I went through that about like two or three times, um, and really just you know, like you said, uh, you know, I now I now I really feel like I know those uh, situations and experiences that I went through, and uh, I had time to go back and correct it, perfect it, um, and, and keep keep working on it still t uh, to this day. Um, but yeah, like I I definitely feel way more comfortable in the situations I get put in. Uh, I feel like I can be in the same spot I was last year and have more knowledge in that in that area. And uh, not make the same mistake and set myself up uh, for success. Of all, the you, of all the things you learned, what will be the most useful this year? You know, things you do this year that you just either didn't, or things you don't do this year that you did, as far as mistakes or whatever. What, 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 of all the things you learned, what, what's the most valuable? Um, I said one important thing was really just like last year for me. I, I felt like it started becoming easier when I, I read my, my my keys right and uh, and saw the things I was supposed to see and uh, just kind of like. Uh, brought my vision in and uh, focused on what I was supposed to see and not trying to see everything. Um, I feel like once I did that and I was able to like really read what I, I was supposed to read and not worried about all this other stuff. But not that I'm not supposed to like see the formation and the splits and stuff like that. But um, when I focused on what I was supposed to see, I just feel like I got to play faster. And so that's definitely something that allows me to go. So is there a play that you look back on when you look back at last year where you say, that will not happen this year? Yeah, uh, I mean, we had, like, like I said, uh, there was stuff like communication errors or stuff like that or just like miscommunication stuff that, that happened last year or that I feel like I could have been tied around with uh, other people's stuff or whether it just begin to know more. Um, definitely, yeah, that, definitely the first couple of games, I feel like there were some things like that I definitely wouldn't align like that or do it like that again. I'm definitely going to put myself over here so I know if I get this type of play that I'm in position to do this or this. Instead of just uh, setting myself up bad by lining wrong or something like that. He said that you, your RPMs aren't always in the red this year, right? He said you are more mentally alert but physically calm. What does that allow you to do? Do you feel that? And what does it allow you to do? Yeah, that's uh, that was a big thing. I felt like I felt like once my RPMs were really high, um, 
I feel like I'm using way more energy. Um, and so, like, you know, like you said, like being more calm and uh, just being more efficient in the stuff I do it just allows me to, uh, you know, just have that energy still in my body to use it for whatever I want to use instead of just wasting it, just having, like, a high RPMs and stuff like that and just kind of being under control uh, in everything I do. So that, that definitely helps and just allows me to just, you know, uh, do things easier. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of talks uh, about, like, you know, different leverages or, you know, uh, if I get put in, like, certain situations, uh, you know, my leverage or the way I want to use my switch-ups or my feet. Um, I talked to him uh, quite a bit about – because I was going back and forth, and uh, he's playing a lot of corner, so I'd ask him a lot about corner because sometimes I have to just focus on nickel, and so I, he'd be some person i go to for that. Um, we had a lot of talks about, like, you know, feet, leverage, and, um, you know, how to how to move within the uh, certain defense that we call. So. Uh, Yeah, uh, we talked this off season, and uh, you know, just talking about our plan, like what we're doing and getting better and stuff, and like what his plans are and stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, as far as him not being here, I don't, I don't really worry about it. I know he's a vet, and uh, he takes care, take care of the thing, and uh, he's a professional. And uh, you know, I, I know when he comes back, there's not going to be a drop off, and he's, uh, he's a leader on our team, and he's going, he's going to do what he does. Did you do any good football wise this off season? You said what? See family, honestly. <laughs> I haven't seen my parents in a minute, so I just went up there, chill with them, uh, celebrate a little bit of their birthdays and stuff like that that they had. And um, yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, with your, with talking about your RPMs being in the red all last year, was that only on game days or was that like throughout the entire week you're just kind of feeling overwhelmed the entire time? I wouldn't say overwhelmed, but like uh, it definitely was a thing like during training camp, like because I was playing nickel, corner, and I'd be like ones, twos, and threes. And so I was, I was feeling it all in my legs, and uh, it, it was a lot. But uh, I, I still appreciate it because I needed those reps and the experience and stuff like that. So I, I understand, like, why I was out there a lot and, uh, and stuff like that. So, um, shit, I, oh, my bad. <laughs> that, that year is over, and uh, I learned what I needed to learn from it. So uh, it's, gonna, it's just going to get better and better. Did that just slow down for you, like, this offseason? Did it take the full season to end to kind of – Yeah. I still feel like even in the season, like uh, even like midway and like going to the end, like I still feel like it just started like just slower and slower and slower and uh, and just calmer and calmer. And then I would just see what I needed to see and I, and I try to make every play and be everywhere and stuff like that. I just control myself. I know you said you miss cool playing that corner outside, but what do you like about playing nickel in this defense? Yeah, about this defense is, is really just being in the run. And I, and I, I like the blitz and stuff like that. So. Uh, them giving me the ability to go and do that. Um, that's what I love a lot about uh, about being at Nichols, being in the run fit and being able to blitz. Uh, I'll probably, hopefully I'll go back to corner and go back and forth like I did, but um, I do really love Nickel. Uh, and uh, being near the ball, I just get to be closer, so uh, which is more opportunities for me to make plays and stuff like that, so I, I love being there. Good. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, and I've been talking to them a lot. Uh, they've been making plays already. Uh, I've seen a lot of good things from them. And, uh, yeah, we talk on the sideline, talk before, after practice, and uh, just giving them tips, stuff that I had my first year. Uh, you know, and, uh, yeah, uh, nothing but good things for them, and I, I think they're going to do good. Obviously, everybody wants the D-line to get more sacks this year than they did last year. What does that do for you guys in terms of giving you better opportunities to go take the ball away? Yeah, I mean, pretty much like you said, just more opportunities uh, for – Picks, uh, sacks, coverage, you know, rush and coverage go together. And so, um, you know, just combine those two things, I think it's just going to be a defense that creates way more turnovers and stuff like that. Can Tyreek Stevenson in this defense, like, how does that help you? You said who? Tyreek Stevenson. Like, if he's outside, how is that going to help you? Yeah, I mean, I mean me and him are just going to keep building chemistry. And uh, if he's outside, you know, that's just going to be another player that um, I build chemistry and just trust uh, to know that he's going to do his job on the outside while I'm in the inside and stuff like that. So. You know, just kind of building our communication and talking, uh, just getting to learn together and uh, know how we both fit uh, when we're on the same side and stuff like that. What, if anything, have you seen from this office? I know it's early that, that would show that they're a bit more versatile or more multiple in the way that they can attack a defense. You obviously faced it a lot last year, but do they seem different? Are they moving around, getting, scheming guys open? Yeah, that, uh, I would say, like, they're, uh, you know, we got Claypool, DJ, and uh, we're going to have Mooney, and we got Dante. So, you know, they're really putting him in the one, two, and three, and they'll mix them around as far as, like, where they put them in positions uh, to, like, really, like, get the right matchups that they want. So I feel like, 
they they're spreading their guys out, moving around to the spots that I feel like are where they need to, and so uh, I think that's pretty good. Um, honestly, I haven't even got a lot, uh, a ton of reps with him, uh, just guarding him. But uh, I know he's a fast dude, good hands and stuff like that. So I mean, I'm going to have more reps eventually, so uh, it'll be more to come.